Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a maintenance slash performance modification to the Focus here. This is for the wheels to sit on so they don't get scuffed up, scratched up and all that kind of jazz. I'm just taking off the wheels and um, I noticed so the tools that you're going to need today are a flat blade screwdriver, a T45 to get in behind here, so this bolt right here, you just slot that in there and then yeah, she, that's the pins to get this off. Anyway, so that's that, possibly a caliper compressor and obviously a socket to fit your nuts. So. Let's get this commenced. So what you'll have to do now is you want to grab your flat blade, pry in right here, and then also up here as well. And what it does, it hooks behind here, as you can see, and it pulls the, the top face of the caliper towards the rotor. So it pulls it down. These ones make sure it's in line and yeah, so we just want to pop these off, but be be careful guys, they can have some tension behind it, um, I've seen um, a hand get all cut up, but as you can see, she's coming up just like that. Nine times out of ten, you don't have to do that one, but if she's being a pain in the ass, then just get a little bit of a persuasion behind it. So what you want to do now is you want to grab your screwdriver, your flathead, just get on the edge right here but not get on the thread because if you get on the thread then you can have the chance of taking out a few threads because you can't physically get your fingers or anything like that in there because of this dust shield right here. So what you want to do is you just want to just gently just use the screwdriver and pry it out like this and then that's your bolt right here and then we can just repeat it up to the top here. Now that you've taken both of the pins out, so the upper and lower, what you want to do is just want to grab your flathead and just gently pry against this one here. Oh. So I just realized that it can't possibly come out until I undo the bracket bolts back in here. So it's a 213 mil bolt, so I'm going to whiz these off and see how much I can undo them. So it turns out doing the bracket bolts did shit all. Um, so now I've called for these bad boys. So hopefully this one um, popped it off. Alright, persuasion number one. Oh, that's a fucking neat. Oh, I'll be able to fit it in under here, I think. Aha! So that's what you need, it's just a... big screwdriver. So I'll have to get the larger one. That also helps. I'll show you what I just did. So what I just did, I put my screwdriver directly in there without touching the rotor. I pried it up using like that and it seems to work. Oop. Oh, it was working. Let's try down here. Oop, there goes the tip of the screwdriver. She's gone, skis! Oh, there goes a little bit more. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try from the bottom again. Oh, 
grab the slightly smaller one, pry this one up in there. Happy days. Oh, there goes my guard again. So I'm a numpty. Um, it's the ones that you have to screw in. So I need to go down to a part store and buy some. Now we're cooking with gas. This is the one that we need. She slots in there nicely. Just like that. There we go. She's nicely in there. So now we're cooking with gas. All right, so that's all nice and compressed in, thanks to this awesome tool. Um, so yeah, please disregard this. This will destroy absolutely everything because it's not designed for it. So yeah. Now I just need to replicate everything on the other side. Okay, when I say that that was like a five minute job, it was quite literally a five minute job. This side was so much easier than the other side. And I think the postie's here. No, there was no postie, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. All I can say is I'm too embarrassed to show you what my right hand side pad looked like. So my package has finally come. My brake pads are here, thanks to Jamie at OEM Denied. Got some Brembies. Hey Jess, we got some Brembies. Just some thick, girthy boys. Oh, now I have to rush buddy putting all this stuff in. Cause you know, I have work at four o'clock in the morning. So the way that I tell um, which side to put the pad is this side here goes on the front and this side here with the metal clip goes on the rear of the rotor. So keep that in mind guys when putting it in. She just makes sure you just chuck some of the grease as well. It comes with it, which is right here. So chuck some in here. Just a little dollop. And then you also want to grease up your pins or your sliders or whatever you want to call them. Now this is going to be the challenging part is to put this little clip thing on. Oh, I say that with doing it one-handed. So what you want to do is you want to just line up these two tangs here with this one already on the face and it will be a lot easier when you move it over and it will slot straight in. So it's all nicely secured, not going to go anywhere anytime soon. Alright, so the time is 5.22. Let's see how long it takes me to do the right hand side. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get this smashed out in the back. In the front. And now you want to grease up the pins at the base near the threads. Okay, so what you want to do is you just want to slip that on there like that. Slip that in there just like... All the special shit in there, but you know, just... <clears throat> make sure she's nice and tight with the uggies, hand uggies. Because you, know, you know, you don't want to... you don't want them to come loose. Yep, uh, and then moving on to the springs. Oh no, I'm getting finessed. Oh no. <laughs> Come on, I did it last time one handed. Why not now? In. There we have it. <sighs> Time. Three minutes. Now, that's to do just to slap everything back in. I see that 
pretty quick considering I didn't use any hand tools whatsoever I didn't oh, I prep the tools um, if you guys are faster I want to see them so this is the left hand side there is about a mil or so left of pack. oh my gosh I can't believe I'm gonna do this but oh well I need to expose myself when I can and this is the right I'm not proud of it um, I ordered these um, a week ago and they only just turned up today so I was like yeah I'm gonna put them in like now so yes she was cooched but she's all Gucci now I have a set of brand new never been used rear brake pads Brembo's if you want them they will be in the tip so guys, I'm going to go test drive and see how the brakes feel now, fingers crossed, there's no issues. Now I can't slam on the picks to test out how they stop because I have to do the end links in the front um, because every time I, I brake heavy or air up, it goes bop bop, <laughs> it sounds like it's broken, it is broken, I am aware of it, but yeah. Strange!